Anisha, why don't you tell me about Save the Date? Um, yeah, I, I will start my new project called Save the Date on 1st of September. And I decided to do, to do this project in April uh, 2014 while I've been to Italy. I visited M Milano Contemporary Art Center and I came across about the art piece by Safia Kahl. She's a French artist, beautiful woman. And she does a lot of biographical work. She, she deals always with her biography. And uh, I was inspired and I was like thinking about my project because before I was doing a lot of social and political stuff, I was always like engaged and involved in like political life in Berlin or Germany. And um, but I have never done a like very private and very intimate story. I've never done any intimate performance. Uh, and this piece is dedicated to my to my story, to my biography. So um, I've never been in any relationships and in any love relationships. And uh, I decided not to expect love, but to share my love. And this piece is dedicated to my loneliness that caused by the, my sexual life, my private life. And um, I'm going to share my love. That's easy. Well, you said that this piece was dedicated to your loneliness. Can you expand on that a little bit more? Yeah, I think like in the big societies, in big cities like Berlin, London, Paris, there's a lot of choices. There's a lot of freedom. And this big choice makes you uh, addict, uh, or addicted to be always on a way to find something new, to, find, to try something new, to find new guys, to uh, go to the desk club, to try, I mean, any other sexual sexual uh, practice, and uh, I was feeling always bad. Like I, I had a lot of experience of random sex or uh, to meet meeting new people, and uh, I was feeling always bad. Like going to the park, uh, cruising areas, sex clubs. I was always feeling like very sad and like, oh my god, what's going on? Like what? Why I'm here and why it's happening right now to me? Um, and I feel really like sad, and I was like, oh, okay, um, how can I deal with it? Like, um, is it like because of me? Is it because of people around me? Is it because of the city? And um, I came across about the theory of non places um, by Marc Auger. It's, it's a French uh, philosopher. And he describes these non places, uh, he deals with the anthropology, and he was describing first uh, pla places like. Um, like African small villages, small villages in Europe. And uh, he said in the big cities like in the met metropolis like New York or California, like LA, San Francisco, or like, I don't know, Berlin, there are a lot of places that cause loneliness of people. There are like supermarkets, uh, airports, shopping malls. People go there, they don't communicate, they lose their identities. They don't really feel like belong to these places, and in the end, they feel lonely. And I, I just uh, use this theory to combine with my uh, part of sexuality. So I think that the, my loneliness caused in the big city of uh, my sexuality. I do I live my sexuality. Now, how do you plan to use these places, shopping malls, parks, all the places you just mentioned? How do those relate back to save the date? Um, I'm working with a sound artist, and we're making like sound installations. Now I'm visiting uh, these known places and uh, like observing and uh, making sound, uh, recording sound. Then I'm visiting also known places of sexual, uh, I mean, of sexual acts. Uh, I'm visiting uh, cruising areas, parks, toilets, uh, like areas of prostitutes, and uh, I'm going to combine this all together to show how the known place of the city is uh, combined with the non place of sexuality. Um, I'm not going to have sex there. I'm, many journalists uh, get me, got me wrong, like I'm going to have sex in the supermarket or in the shopping mall. It's not. Uh, it's just a, like a basic idea of the project. Like, 